All right, what's going on, guys? Today is a historic day. Today marks the inauguration of the This Is Not A Crime Hall of Fame. Over the years, we've heard about a lot of these stories. There's just been so many that I can't even cover them all. But now, I think we can narrow it down to a select few individuals that can be inducted into the Hall of Fame. I think we should start out with five initial members you know that's a nice solid number you don't want to let too many in there initially because then it won't be as special if you let everybody in right we're not giving out participation trophies over here I am gonna rank them I guess I wouldn't take the ranking too seriously but you know I am gonna rank them from five going all the way to number one the greatest so with that being said let's go ahead and get into it coming in at number five the first member to be officially inducted into the Hall of fame Sarah Folks, a 28 year old biology teacher from Lockhart Texas now as you guys are examining this visual evidence we'll go over some of the facts of the case so Sarah was arrested in March of 2017 for allegedly having sexual content with the intent to arouse or gratify the sexual desire of with a 17 year old student now obviously Obviously, the main qualifications to make it into the Hall of Fame is, of course, the visual evidence. However, I think it's important to take a look at what happened in each individual case as well. Depending on the severity of the actions, I think it can really strengthen the applicant's case for it to fall under the this is not a crime guidelines, therefore increasing their chances of making it into the Hall of Fame. In the case of Sarah here, first off, the student was 17 years old. So that definitely helps her case. The student was a bit on the older side as far as students go. And also, it seems that nothing actually happened between the two of them. I don't know exactly what sexual content with the intent to arouse means, but clearly there was no penetration of the walls involved in this case. Otherwise, that would have been specified. So that definitely helps her case out as well. Now, as far as an update on what happened to her, well, she has pled guilty and submitted a deal and it is under review currently. If it is accepted, she is only going to get four years probation and a fine. So overall, I would say, yeah, I think it definitely falls under the not a crime status. And based off of the visual evidence, she is definitely qualified to make it into the Hall of Fame. I mean, you can kind of tell she a little freaky, you know what I mean? She's smiling in her mugshot, number one. She's like, yeah, I was trying to arouse that kid. What you gonna do about it? You know what I mean? She don't give a fuck. She's smiling. And then she out here, you know, posting pics of her going to Halloween parties, I would imagine in her little playboy bunny costume and shit so you know that's definitely not normal attire for a teacher I would say I mean this kid's probably kind of pissed off he didn't get a chance to get in them walls she definitely has a very high yards per D average top five total yards per D in the league I would say I mean you could just tell she has all of the statistics and accolades to be a hall of famer so anyways that's enough about her moving on coming in at number four the second member to be officially inducted into the Hall of Fame is Alexandria Vera, the 25-year-old English teacher from Houston, Texas. I don't know why they're all from Texas. Let me assure you, this was not my experience, but apparently Texas teachers are really all about providing a real hands-on learning experience. I guess I must have just went to the wrong schools here. I don't know. Anyways, once again, as you guys examine the visual evidence, we'll go over some some of the facts of the case. This one was definitely controversial to say the least. So Alexandria here was arrested in 2016 for basically engaging in a long-term relationship with a 14-year-old student. I believe he was actually 13 when it first started and apparently even the parents of the kid knew about it, which I mean that's definitely a good thing for her. I mean I'm sure the fucking dad saw the pictures of her. He's like, son, I could not be more proud of you than I am in this moment right now. I love you, son. Like, I'd imagine that's pretty much how that conversation went down, but the relationship really uh, hit a stopping point when the kid allegedly got her pregnant and then she had to get an abortion. That's definitely a showstopper right there, I would say. 
play. You know, we definitely have a flag on the play, but after official review, we have concluded that we are going to allow her into the Hall of Fame anyways, due to the fact that there is overwhelming visual evidence in her favor. However, the courts did not agree with my assessment on January 13th, 2017, Alexandria was sentenced to 10 years in prison, so I'm guessing that's where she is right now, but I can see where the court is coming from. 13 is pretty young, but more importantly than the age, I'd say you can't be getting pregnant. Like, what the hell? That's on you. That's not on the kid. I mean, he's 13 years old. His dick just started working. He don't even understand it yet, you know? He don't have no experience. You, on the other hand, you have an MVP level yards per D average. That's on you. You experienced with the D, so you fucked up on that one. But low-key, young man was fertile out here though, right? There's like married couples, grown adults who try for months and years to try to get pregnant and it just doesn't happen or it just takes a really long time, right? But young man over here got her pregnant on his very first nut. I mean, he just learned what that is. He just started doing it and he already getting bitches pregnant. Like, that's crazy, man. That's tough right there. Anyways, uh, coming in at number three, the third member to be officially inducted into the Hall of Fame is Stephanie Peterson, the 27-year-old science teacher from New Smyrna Beach, Florida. So once again, as you guys examine the visual evidence, I'm going to talk about some of the facts of the case. So Stephanie was arrested in March of 2018 for having sex with a 14-year-old student and sending him some inappropriate pictures. Now, this one's not nearly as controversial as the last one, although 14 is still a bit young. Better than 13, at least. That's all I can say. But thankfully, no pregnancies this time, so that's a good sign. After review, I'd have to say that the visual evidence just simply outweighs all the negatives of this case. So she is going to indeed make it into the Hall of Fame. However, once again, the judge did not agree. Stephanie here has pled guilty and she will be facing between five and 10 years in prison. I'd imagine it's closer to five because her case is definitely much less severe than the last one we just talked about and she got 10. So Stephanie here will probably get closer to five. But anyways, coming in at number two, to, the fourth member to be officially inducted into the Hall of Fame is actually a two-for-one special. Now, you'll understand why in a second, but I would like to introduce you to the legendary duo of Shelley Dufresne and Rachel Respis, the 34 and 25-year-old teachers from Destrehan, Louisiana. Now, as you're examining the visual evidence, once again, we'll have to discuss this case in a little bit greater detail because there's a lot to go over here. So Shelly and Rachel were arrested back in 2014 for having a threesome with a 16 year old student. Now I just want everyone to stop for a second and process how crazy this story actually is. Like think about how difficult this is to pull off with just one of your teachers right? Like we see all these stories right? It seems like it's very common but there are millions of kids going Going to school every single day. So the chances of this actually happening are less than 1% when you factor in just how many teachers and students there actually are, right? So for this man to not only pull it off with one teacher, but to get a two-for-one special is just insane. Now, I will admit, on their own, neither one of them really has what it takes to be a Hall of Famer. Maybe Shelly, you know, she has some potential. Now, Rachel, on the other hand, I'm sorry, but you just don't have what it takes. But when you combine their forces together, they are first-team all-D, okay? Imagine the yards per D between these two women right here. It's gonna be something crazy. Now, I read the story, and basically this is what went down. So, Shelly was the one who initiated with the young man. She kind of brought him in. And then, basically, after she got a taste 
of the young man's meat. She was like, yo, Rachel, you gotta come over here and sample some of this young meat. You missing out. And she brought Rachel over into the scenario as well. And I was just thinking like, well, damn, this kid got it like that. I mean, ain't nothing we can do but respect it. You know what I mean? Now, it seems that the justice system has respected it as well because charges were dropped for both of the teachers. So literally, this was not a crime. I mean, what else can I say, man? This legendary duo deserves a spot in the hall of fame so moving on finally last but not least the fifth and final member to be officially inducted into the this is not a crime hall of fame is none other than the goat Haley Way, the 28-year-old math teacher from Austin, Texas. Now, hopefully this name sounds familiar. She is actually from episode number one. Basically, this entire series started because of her. Now, as you are examining the visual evidence, let's just refresh our memory on the details of the case. So, Haley here was arrested in October of 2015 for having sexual relationships with two 17-year-old students. She uh, had a two-for-one special of her own, but, you know, hers was a little heavy on the D, you know what I mean? Light on the walls, heavy on the D, you know, extra D involved. She definitely has a high yards per D average as well, you know, a bit more on the sneaky side. You know, she's a real gym rat, a real hard worker. She really gives her all every game, you know, you can tell. But she has pled guilty to these charges, and she was sentenced to 10 years of probation, so... Not not really much of a punishment at all considering what her initial uh, quote-unquote crime was about so I think that further cements her goat status because clearly it was not a crime as the judge has already ruled so I would just like to point out finally that I think age really must be the determining factor with these cases like if you guys notice the only ones really doing jail time are the ones where the student was younger so a word of advice for all future teachers out there if you're trying to get into that young meat you probably need to wait until they're at least like 16 to start looking at some prospects you know don't want to go too young because then you're going to end up in jail but anyways one final thing before we wrap this up you guys might be wondering why this mugshot right here was not included in the video i mean we've all seen this one it's one of the most popular mugshots out there and judging by the visual evidence this is a clear hall of famer right there case closed well the issue is the picture is fake and what i mean mean by that is yes the woman in this mugshot was definitely arrested for something but she's not actually the teacher in the story that this picture has been attached to somewhere along the way somebody decided to troll or be funny or whatever and they attached this mugshot to a different story and it went viral now the story is about a teacher named Nicole Winberry and as I was you know looking for details on the story when I was making this video I found out that this is the real Nicole Winberry and clearly this changes up our Hall of Fame chances quite a bit. Let's just say the real Nicole is not a Hall of Famer. Now I'm pretty sure I'm like 99% sure I made a video about this back in like Black Ops 3 because the actual Nicole Winberry mugshot looks very familiar to me. I swear I made a video, but I don't remember what it was called, but I'm sure some of you remember watching it as well. Hopefully all of this is adding up. You remember watching it. But anyways, I just wanted to point that out there because I'm sure some people would have been wondering like why I didn't include her in the video. It's because, well, we've been bamboozled. You know, that's not actually her. So anyways, that is pretty much it for the video. This is probably a bit longer of the video. I, I try to make Make it as short as possible but i just have so much to talk about it just it ended up being a little bit longer i would appreciate it if you could drop a like on the video it actually was very time consuming doing all of the required research for this video it actually took longer than i thought so thank you guys so much for watching be sure you like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day peace out You never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it